Hey everyone, so I have a couple of updates for you, so I thought I'd just do a really quick video. So, um, we do have a couple of new additions who I'll introduce you to in a second, but the first update is quite a sad update, and that is the fact that Polar passed away um, four days ago. Now, I only had Polar for five weeks, and by that point she was bonded with Panda and they were all happy and everything. Um, but... Polar was only very young, she wasn't showing no signs of illness or anything like that. She was happy, healthy, still eating, still drinking. Um, so it was a very, very big shock for me to come home and find her passed away. But the place where I got her from, I was talking to a couple of people at work and they said it's probably one of the worst places I could have got an animal from because of their standards are very, very low and the place they get their animals from is very poor quality and they don't care about genetics or anything, they literally just breed animals all the time and crossbreed them and everything like that so um, I guess my lesson is learnt and I'm never going to get an animal from there again but the only reason I got her mainly was because of Panda and Panda really really needed a friend um, but unfortunately when Polar passed, Panda went downhill and um, Panda, basically, she wouldn't sleep in the houses, she wouldn't really do much, she stopped eating, she stopped drinking, um, so I desperately needed to get her a new cage mate. Um, so basically I spoke to someone at work and found a mouse breeder, he is the man who also breeds the hamsters for our store, so he's a local breeder, he's a very, very small breeder, um, he goes into um our store only so he's not like one of these people that breeds for a ton of different stores he literally just breeds for the store which i work at um and obviously we don't get a lot of animals from him that often because of he is a very small breeder and we only sell animals when he has them basically um so yeah anyways basically i got two new female mice from him they are seven weeks old, but the thing is, because he found out they were for me, he actually gave me the girls for free, because we knew that um, Polar had passed away, so Panda was on her own. So he actually let me have these two baby mice for free, because he said, basically, I know it's you, you're really good at looking after your animals, and it's going to cost you enough to keep them, with the bedding, the food, vet bills, and everything like that. So he turned around and said to me, he said, because it's you, you can have the mice for free. He said, but if it was anyone else, obviously he'd pay... Well, obviously he'd charge them for them, but because it was me, he turned around and said I could have them so I could make Panda happy again. Um, so like I said, we have two females. They're currently being bonded with Panda, so they are currently in their little mini doona setup. So I'll see if they're awake. They should be. I heard them about five minutes ago. I can hear Panda already. Panda is mothering them a lot. There's someone's nose. That's Panda. They usually hide behind this little ball thing. Where's the little babies? There's Panda over there. So I think the babies are currently hiding a little bit. So they're in a very basic setup at the minute. But, you know, I desperately needed some new friends for Panda. Um, so therefore end up getting there we go there's a baby she's just gone over there and there's the other one so they're hiding in that back corner so i've called them pinky and perky anyway and um, so pinky's the one with the white face and perky's the one with the bluish gray face um so i'll show you them more in a little bit more detail um so those are the two first new additions um the second no sorry the third new edition she's living in this horrible habit trail cage at the moment um so basically someone from the farm asked me do i want a hamster because she bought it her son and her son doesn't want it no more so she turned around and said it comes with the cage it comes with food comes with bedding um she's had it about a year and the kid just isn't interested so She's not really been handled that much, she's not really been socialised that much, so therefore I said, yeah, I'll have her. This cage is going. Um, I'm going to see what I can do with Nemo's old bin cages, or I'm going to buy her a Alaska 
or something similar. I might buy her like a hamster heaven. I'm going to buy her sort of like one of these size cages anyway. So I'm going to get my um, my sister to go on Zoo Plus for me later and see what cages we can find for her. But I've only had her for, this will be the second day I've had her. So I've not really had much chance to kind of get the pink cages back out and sort them all out and everything because I've just been so busy with the farm and work and all the rest of the pets but um, I figured for another couple of days it won't really hurt her being in here because she's been in here for over a year anyway and I didn't want to overwhelm her with um, moving to a new house and having to deal with new people and then having her cage taken off her as well so I'm going to introduce a new great cage probably within the next week or so just do it gradually because I don't want to stress her out but she's in this little sleeping bit here don't know if you guys can see her but um, I can't open that because if you open that it kind of crushes the hamster so if you open that like the lid thing goes and crushes her so I don't like opening that at all so I just kind of leave her to come out when she wants um, so she's a little brown and white she's um I think she's going to be a long head to be honest I don't think she's a year old I think she's much younger because she's only tiny but um She's got quite a bit of long hair going on, so I think she's sort of like a medium slash long haired Syrian. Um, but she's gorgeous, she's very very friendly and I'm quite surprised with how friendly she is because she's not been really dealt with much. Um, but yeah anyways, she came with the name, so she was called Chow. Um, so I decided to kind of extend her name a little bit and call her Chow Main. So yeah we now have a hamster called Chow Main. But like I said, this cage is going. I mean, when I got her, she didn't have no toys or anything in there. But I've added a couple of chew toys. I've added a, um, there should be a little tunnel. Yeah, one of those little tunnels. I've added some chew toys. Um, there's not a lot of space to add anything. So I've just tried doing the best I can for temporary. So that wheel is much too small for as well. Though I saw her running on it this morning and she's arching her back on it. So I desperately need to get her out of this cage. So I'm going to dig the bin cages out today and see what I can do with them because of she desperately, desperately needs a bigger cage and this is tiny, you literally can't fit anything in it. There you go, there's Chow. Hello sweetie pie. <laughs> She's like, what is that in my face? So there you go, that's Chow. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's been going on recently. So I have ended up with three animals all given to me and come as a bit of a shock because I wasn't really planning on getting any more but obviously after Polar passed away I was planning on getting one mouse and then ended up with two and yeah you know these things happen for a reason I guess but I just want to point out that I'm not like a crazy animal person that just gets animals for the sake of getting animals Chow was generally because of my friend give her to me because of her kid didn't want it and it was kind of like a me get her or she just sit there doing nothing for the rest of her two years so obviously I wanted to give her a good home and give her what she deserves and obviously I needed another friend for Panda so that was kind of like one of those things which I had to do but I know a lot of people keep saying you have a lot of pets how can you take care of them you can't possibly afford them or anything the thing is I work 30 plus hours a week um, obviously I work in a pet shop so you do get quite a lot of pet stuff for free and you do get discount on a lot of stuff as well um, so obviously that helps me quite a lot and obviously I don't pay for all the pets my mum pays for four cats and the two dogs whereas I just pay for one cat because only one's mine and then I pay for Storm who's my horse and I pay for the small animals so it's not as if I can't afford them because a lot of people keep saying oh my gosh you're a hoarder and you can't afford your pets and everything um, I know my limits with my animals and I know exactly how much money I have and how many I can afford and I've always got money set aside for vet bills, I've got money set aside for the small animals and I've got money set aside for Storm so it's not as if I can't afford them, they've all got what they need and more, their cages are always filled with toys, they've all got decent cages, they're over the minimum recommended sizes. Um, so yeah basically I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people keep saying you're cruel and you can't afford your animals and you must never spend time with them or anything but I spend a lot of time with my animals like from nine o'clock I come up in my bedroom and I'll be up to about one two o'clock in the morning sorting the animals out 
and that's literally my life. My life revolves around animals. I don't go out drinking, don't do drugs, don't smoke, don't do anything like that. So all my money literally just goes on my pets and all my time literally just goes on my pets. So yeah, I just wanted to point that out because a lot of people keep saying I must be cruel because if I just have all these animals and I don't do anything with them. But you guys only see what I show you on camera. You don't see me behind the camera or anything like that so you couldn't possibly know how much time I spend with the pets or how much money I possibly spend on the pets because you don't have access to my bank account or anything like that. So yeah, I'm just going on a bit of a rant right now. But Chow's there. She's gorgeous, isn't she? She's adorable. So I thought I'd just quickly show you the babies in a little bit more closer because of you didn't really see them before and you've seen Chow so I thought I'd show you the babies properly. So I've taken some of the toys out just so you guys can see them. But this little one here is Pinky. So she's the one with the white face and sort of like more whiter than Perky. Um, and then Perky, wherever she is, I think she's in this corner down here. Perky. There you go, that one's Perky. So she's the one with a lot more colouring on her and a lot less white. Look at these guys. Panda's so happy now. She's mothering them though. Like, she's just being a really, really good mum to them, which I am quite surprised. But you can see the size difference between her and the two babies, um, which is really crazy. Look at them. But these two are sisters as well. They come from the same litter. So those two were already together before I got them. So it wasn't as if I've had to introduce all three of them. Um, so they're going to stay in this cage for quite a while because of the babies are still too small and they'll go through the iMac fantasy bars. So they're staying in here um, probably for a couple of weeks until they grow a lot more because otherwise I'm going to end up with two tiny mice running around my bedroom. So those are the two girls. So I thought I'd just quickly show you them a little bit better because of, well, you've seen Chow. So I thought it was only fair that you see her, these guys a little bit better. That one's trying to jump away. These two are quite jumpy at the minute though. Like, Perky's a lot more tamer, but Pinky's not very tame. And Pinky's, like, super scared. So we're working on taming a little bit with these guys as well. And I figured whilst they're in the small cage, I can work on taming better with them. There you go. So this is the tame one. She's just literally taken to me straight away. So this one's Perky, whereas Pinky won't let you go anywhere near her. So Pinky's more reliant on Panda, but Perky is sort of like a lot more self-sufficient and she kind of craves the attention from humans so yeah look at that seven week old baby mouse i've never had one this young they are gorgeous they're so tiny i absolutely love them i i just i can't get over how small they are it's crazy so along with getting the new pets i have actually moved storm farms as well so i moved storm on last friday i think it was so i was planning on moving farms at the end of the month but um the yard owner was being like really funny with me and she turned around and said to me you're not moving at the end of the month you can move off tomorrow so basically i had to move my horse at half nine at night because i was working that day so unfortunately for me it meant that it was a little bit hectic and we wasn't really prepared and I didn't quite have all the money ready and everything like that but needs must but I'm so happy that we moved because Storm's a lot happier and we have winter turnout and there is a lot more horses for him to interact with and play with while they're in the field and um, he's just a lot more happier and friendlier now, he's not biting, he's not kicking so... He's doing really well. I'll try to do some more videos on him at some point. Although I have got my horse channel, which I've got quite a few videos on at the moment. So I'll leave a link for that down in the description. So I feel like this video has just turned into like a really, really long, completely pointless, rambly video as always. So I'll keep you all updated with the pets as always. I'll let you know how the new little mice get on. And I'll let you know how Chow gets on as well. And I'll keep you updated with all the other pets and try to get updated with YouTube. Because I've got videos from December that I still need to edit and upload. So... There's going to be quite a few late uploads this month, so I do apologise, guys. But, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for the support. And I shall see you in our next video. Bye.